So let me ask you this. What have these past couple months been like as you're adjusting to your new team? It's been pretty fun. You know, the first couple weeks, like the first two weeks was a lot just getting moved in, trying to find a home and, you know, just trying to get used to everything. But once I got all that knocked out, I mean, everything's been love here. Like the way we work, you know, we're working really hard um, in OTAs. Even before uh, OTA started, guys are just working hard. I'm in the weight room, on the field, and in the classroom. You know, we got a lot of guys that are really good football players. So I think, you know, it's going to be very fun to see how everything plays out. So you have a unique perspective working with Robert Sala in San Francisco. One, have you noticed a difference in him? Is he the same person? And two, what was your first interaction with Coach Sala like in, in San Francisco? Yeah, man. So. I would say he's the same. Obviously, he's a head coach now, so it's it's cool and it's a different like perspective, like hearing him talk in front of the whole team and you know addressing offense, because I'm used to him just addressing defense when he was a defensive coordinator, um, you know, on the Niners. But you know things change, and he deserves to be a head coach. And um, you know, me and Salah had a good relationship in San Fran, so you know, everything's you know gravy here. It's love. So, Zach, Will, you know, obviously Coach Sala called Zach Wilson beefy. Zach Wilson called Sala beefy. Has Sala been this beefy before? Uh, yeah, I would say Sala always kept himself in good shape. You know, I don't know if he still has his, like, routine of running, uh, like, the stadiums before the game. Oh, he oh, yeah. still does that. See, he's consistent. So, yeah, man, he stays in good shape. All right. So, let, let me ask you about your cornerback's room. Just what's been your biggest takeaway so far? Biggest takeaway is we have a lot of good ball players in our room. Um, from everybody, really. I think everybody could, you know, be on a 53, and we have guys that could start in this league. I mean, you look at, I mean, everybody. From Brennan Echols, he's not really participating right now because he's healing his shoulder. But, um, he put out good stuff last year. You look at Bryce Hall. Um, he's a really good football player, really good corner um, with a lot of potential and talent. You look at uh, Sauce, a corner that has a lot of promise, a lot of potential and talent. Um, you look at Isaiah, Isaiah Dunn, um, he's a really good football player. He's making a lot of plays. You look at Goose, he's making a lot of plays. Um, he's a good football player. Michael Carter, he's a really good nickel. Um, he's going to be really good, I think, once he just plays football. But as far as like covering guys and just being able to be a cover corner, he's really good. So, I mean, uh, a lot of people, Gidry, he's sticky. He's a good nickel. So, I think like the whole room is really stacked. So, I think that just brings out the best in us every day because you know guys are going to be making plays. So I know that you have some familiarity with this type of defense. You said that you're still learning it. Between now and the start of training camp, is there something that you're going to focus on specifically? Yeah, for me, I'm going to focus on uh, my press technique at the line of scrimmage, just being patient and just um, getting my work in and getting my hands on receivers. I think that's my like JLT, um, what to get better from. So. Uh, that and then the transition on top of routes, uh, just breaking and having my eyes drive on the receiver instead of looking for the ball. Those are my two like corrections to get better on this year. Do you have any travel plans? Um, I'm going to a wedding um, in San Diego. Um, my friend Fred Warner from the uh, from the Niners, my brother. That's my brother. Uh, he's getting married, so I'm gonna be down there for him to support him with that. Um, I'm having a baby shower. Well, my girls having a baby shower. But Congratulations! Thank you. It's both of ours. Um, so I'm gonna do that in L.A. and. Other than that, just be training, working out. All right, so let me ask you this. Uh, you've seen a lot of good quarterbacks in the NFL. Did you know anything about Zach Wilson before signing here, and what have your early takeaways been from him on the field? Yeah, so every year I always watch the draft. So I remember him coming out of BYU, and, man, he was a baller. Like, he still is a baller, yeah. but, like, he was doing a crazy stuff at BYU, like some Pat Mahomes type stuff, like throwing off balance, cross shoulder, like, throws one play he jumped over a dude like so I mean he definitely his arm strength is phenomenal like he could throw out routes from the other side of the hash which a lot of quarterbacks it's a hard throw to make but he makes it look really easily like really easy um just as far as just the throws he can make like he's really talented like his arm strength and his accuracy is really elite I feel like so awesome I think he's gonna be special and then one more question, because you just said that you watched the draft. Obviously, all the Jets fans were excited watching the draft, seeing what unfolded. As a player, like, what's going through your mind as you're watching this thing unfold? We got real dudes. Um, I think it's that simple. Um, Sauce is a real guy. Like, 
he's pro typical, but he could play like he can cover. Um, he's a real corner. I think he's going to be really good, um, elite type of player. Same as Wilson, um, just guarding him. One of those receivers that just feels slippery, like Justin Jefferson. He just feels like one of those guys, a uh, really good route runner, but explosive. But um, he does a good job, like, you know, beating press. So, and then you get Jermaine Johnson late in the first, um, a special talent, I feel like, um, at DN that's going to be able to make plays, especially playing with this D line. And then you get Brees, you get, you know, guys uh, like Brees, the running back, he's dynamic, fir first rounder type of talent. So, I mean, as far as the draft and free agency, I think we did everything right. Awesome, DJ. Appreciate the time. Thank you. Oh, yeah, no problem, bro. <laughs> All